What's up, everybody? What is up? Hope everybody's doing well, doing well. Second video for today. Um, so, try to get this recorded out. Got some air ons to run. Um, so, let's talk about boundaries, right? So, I want to thank the, the, the user here. It's, it's escaping me right now, but I put it on the screen. Um, and she asked a couple of questions for three, three separate videos. I'm going to combine the second two about um, when a man is uh, not where he wants to be financially, he can ruin your life or bring ruin to your life. So I'm going to bring the, combine that one with the men and boundaries. I'm going to combine that with men and boundaries and the ability to set boundaries and all that. So you got to set boundaries. A lot of times, a lot of times it's not, it's yeah. Okay. There should be a level of respect and here's, here's my attitude about it. There should be a level of respect, but it seems to me that that level of respect it's gone and you know people are going to push the limits push the envelope and push the boundaries and you have to set the boundaries so in the example that um she gave she talked about you know when the guy is keeping in contact with his ex why that don't, that's a that's not his boundary that's not his boundary problem it is a problem but the problem is with you or with the man or whatever the 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 social, the, the dynamic is male, female, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You set the boundaries. Like this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable that you're talking to this person. I'm not. Why? Why go back and forth with someone who thinks it's okay to keep in contact with their ex? That you know, you got to set the boundary. You have to set the boundary, and say, and 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 if there's, you know, red flags are really kind of meant like slow down, stop, right, kind of stuff. Like ah, you know, that's really what a red flag. It's really stop, right? Um, it's really, I mean, it's, you know, it's warnings and all No, it's, it's like, stop, right? These are yellow flags. I, I, I think they should be yellow. Should, the term should be yellow flags when it's kind of like, uh, giving you pause. And those are things that I'll give you pause. And, and if he's right, you know, it's, a, it's gotta be a boundary for you. Now I'm talking about, I'm talking about full fledged relationship where you have established what you're doing. Right. That, that, that's one of the first things is have you established what you're doing, where we're going, who we are, what we are? What am I to you? You know, am I entering your body routinely and consistently? Am I, or if you're a woman, am I allowing you to routinely enter my body consistently on a regular basis? And what are we? What are we doing? Right. You got the, the problem is the problem is, is that we have too many nebulous terms out here that nobody knows what they mean. Nobody is setting a boundary. And I try to get this in. I got a place to be in a few minutes. Nobody is setting a boundary. No one is setting a boundary. That's the problem. We got situationships and we got, um, uh, you know, we're t the talking stage. I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it on this channel, but sometimes I'm going to tell the same story over and over. When I was a kid. I'm talking about 12, 13, 14, something like that. I remember this guy, like this. There was this guy. I mean, there's this girl in my church. She called herself babysitting me. Right? I was like, I was, I was old enough not to be a babysitter. Maybe it was 11, 12, something like that. I don't know. She was, she was just looking for money for my mother. I think just to, you know, watch a kid for you. You know, you know, I, I was, you know, Gen Xers, man. We grew up. You know, I, I left the house, you know, in the middle of summer, right? Well, I got, I used to go to summer camp, but I get home from summer camp 4:35 o'clock. I don't be home till it's dark. You know, and on the weekend, Saturdays. I'm gone all day. Wake up, watch cartoons. By, by, by noon, we're outside playing. I, I didn't see my mother till it was dark. <laughs> Babysitter. That was Gen X. You guys don't know nothing about that, you young, you young whippersnappers out there. I probably shouldn't have did this. It's probably dangerous. Um. So you got to set boundaries. I completely went off on the tangent there. I forgot what I was talking about. But you got to set boundaries. And so, oh yeah, it's... it's so, I was, so the girl was watching me. She was she was babysitting me. We're calling herself that. So she was um right. There was a somebody I knew who was I think I knew him from the boys club. So he was you know he's older than me. She's like, oh, yeah, I know this guy. Whatever. She's talking to him. She's like you know we're, and she said we're we're talking. I said I, and, you know as a young guy you don't know what that means. I'm gonna tell you as a as a 51 year old guy I still don't know what that means. And I, and I guarantee if I ask you guys to put in the comments like what what the talking stage means. You'll probably put, put a bunch of different stuff. I mean, do you sleep with the person that you're talking to? You know, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it all gets right. Girlfriend means you you have established something, a boyfriend or whatever. 
right? My man, my you got to know what you're doing, right? So she's telling tell me this. Like, yeah, I'm talking to him. So I, I kept asking her, "What does that mean? You're talking to him? I don't understand. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means that you're talking. You know, it means we're talking." She couldn't articulate it. You know, one thing I figured. One thing I figured out about getting older and stuff. When you talk to people and stuff, they keep repeating themselves and stuff, right? They don't know what you're talking about, and they try to sound confident. I, I actually am impressed by that because it took me a long time to figure that out. <laughs> people try to sound comp competent and confident, and they don't know what they're talking about. So anyway, I'm getting off on tangent here. She didn't know what she was doing. The guy didn't know what they were doing, right? So you don't know what you're doing. So you got people out there still talking to their ex, still still uh, going to see their baby mothers, uh, you know, giving money, you, you know, just you know, still calling people. Uh, you can't, you, you know, you can't go through their phone. And not that I'm a proponent of going to people's phones because if I, I think if I can't trust you and all that I don't need to be with you that's a boundary that I, that, this is what I have right this this again this red flags talks and stuff talking situation and stuff or terminology I should say better word um, if it's a red flag you know it, this is this is a no go it's, it's a no go red means stop it's a no go I'm not, I'm not gonna have conversations about you talking to your ex or or uh, you know, going to visit your baby's mother at two o'clock in the morning, or, or she's calling here. I'm like, well, I'm not, I'm, listen, I'm not dealing. I'm like, why would you deal with any of that? And again, this is gender neutral. What I'm talking about, like, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever's whatever. Gonna deal with that. Gonna deal with that. You gotta set the boundary. The situation with with the, with a guy who's financially stable. Why is he in your life? Listen, we gotta, we have to do something. I know I recognize that anybody can watch this, but I'm talking in particular to American black people, ADOS people, African descendants of slaves, and, and um, what's the other term? Founder FBAs, Foundation of Black People, Black Americans, whatever, whatever you're calling yourself. Those people who are here, right? I'm not talking people who, people who got here from the Caribbean or people who came here from the from the, from the continent. I'm talking about. Black people, we do not know how to how to selectively mate. We, that's a discussion we have to we have to have. And I know I got pushback. I I got pushback about about saying about talking about uh, um, smart black women who are dating thugs. I get I get pushback about that, and I, they're pushing back on me because I think and I know that this reflects negatively upon them. But you got to own it. You got to own it. If you're sleeping with Pookie and Ray Ray, for whatever reason, you got to own it. Why would they tell me to come at this time in, in the parking lot is packed? Why would they do that? Um, in a few minutes here, I can finish this up. So you got to own it. You got you got to own it. And that that is because you have not set the boundaries. And so if you are dating someone, if you are dealing with someone, you are dating someone, you are talking to someone, sleeping with someone and they are fi financially unstable, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? That's a real that's a conversation that you ladies need to have amongst yourselves. All the sororities and they had 44,000 people uh so I hear the, uh, 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 Soros or whatever that fraternity was, AKAs or whatever they were, sororities, um, uh, 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 on, a, on, a, on a Zoom call to talk about supporting Kamala Harris. Y'all need to get together and have a conversation about your mating, mating habits. That's what you need a Zoom call about. Because you're because that is a that is 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 almost single handedly. Destroying, keep, keeping the black community from, 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 from advancing, because there's no incentive for these men to do any better. You, you, they, they get out of prison and you go right and you, you let them move into their house. You see them in prison. You're right. I know, I know, ladies with with degrees who are, who are writing people in prison. I know them. That's a real conversation that you guys need to have. You got to do better. You got to You got to do better. And I, 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 it's shocking to me that this is not. I know it's well known. They just don't want to talk about. They just don't want to talk about. You know that the men who would be financially viable 
are are not looking for you, not checking for you. So there's no incentive, there's no incentive, there's no wish, there's no change to change that. You gotta set the boundaries. Stop sleeping with these dudes. Stop letting them drive your car. Stop letting them have access to your ATM, your phone. You're buying them clothes. You're buying them Jordans. You're buying them PS5s. I used to joke with my, I used to joke with my ex about them. Like, why am I working out here? These are all the dudes. These, I'm putting on the overtime. Why am I doing that? These other dudes. I just go get me a sugar mama. Why? Am I, you, you, you are incentivizing to these people. I know this isn't popular, and feel free to blast me. And, and, and I know it's going to come. It's true. You're incentivizing these men not to do any better. You are. In, it's a. I'm making a positive statement, positive rhetorically. You are incentivizing these men not to do any better. The, 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 you you are creating examples for your children, for your daughters. To to th this type of behavior is okay. You think you're sneaking these guys in 12 to 5. You, you think they don't know that they don't hear you getting your cheeks clapped. They know they hear it. They know that they, 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 they'll figure out that, that how come I was never home at mommy's house on the weekends, right? They, they know. You don't think they know? You, you, are, you are creating a, a bad example for the, for the children, for the, for the boys and the girls. Why should, he's going to go up and think I can do this. I just have somebody take care of me. Right, get me some, get me some, some, some high school principal, some high school principal, and, and uh, you know, that'll be, that'll be that. Why should I go to college? Why should I, why should I go out to the hustle? Somebody else is buying me Jays and Jordans and stuff. You got this. The boundary problem isn't somebody else's problem. It's your problem, male or female. It's your problem. She's still in contact with her ex. She's still calling this dude. She's still doing whatever. Buying. A, I see videos about. Is it okay for to buy him a buy your baby's mother a Mother's Day present? All this, all this kind of stuff. You're dealing with that. This is this is the whole single mother conversation, right? Where are your boundaries at? I'm not, that's why I'm not dealing with that. This is not even a conversation I'm going to have. What are we talking about? Guy's driving your car, calling you financial. Why is he causing you financial ruin? Because he's on your insurance, because he's driving your car, because he's crashing it, because he's eating up all your food, because you because you're buying them stuff, you're, you're you're getting them credit. Oh my god, man. Listen, I can tell you I can tell you stories. I can listen, as a police officer, I can tell you stories. <laughs> stories. You got to set the boundary. And I know that you don't want to be lonely. I know that this hurts. You know, I, I know that this is uncomfortable. This is a problem. This is this is that. This is this. This is that. I got to go into this thing. I'm going to pause this right here. All right, everybody. We're going to try to finish this off here. So um, I, I had to run in. Um, so let me let me um, let me finish this off with with uh, sticking to your guns sticking to your boundaries sticking to them it's not it's you know it's it seems so simple to say it's somebody else's problem or fault or whatever but you got to stick to it you have to stick to it you have to stick to your um your guns you gotta you you gotta stick to your boundaries you gotta set these limits and not and not back down from them and not allow people into your life and into your sphere into your world into your mind into your your sector, whatever you want to call it, the, who are no good, who are not beneficial, who are not adding to your life, who are just taken away. I mean, this is this is tragic on all levels, right? So, you know, this was asked to me. This particular question was asked to me by a, by a young lady, but you know, guys do it too, right? The guys do it. They get into, you know, this whole idea about Cap Captain Salem. And listen, this just takes experience because we allow our emotions, we allow our emotions to dictate what we do and all rationality flies out the window. 
when we are young, dumb, <laughs> and full of baby making material. Boys and girls, men and women, right? This, you, you cannot, man, you cannot, man, allow someone who's going to be in your life and ruin it, ruin your credit, ruin your, um, ruin your credit, ruin your, your reputation, ruin your, your reputation and your money and your credit. Your money, your reputation, and your credit. So, listen, you got to set the boundaries. The boundaries are their, are their, their responsibility. And it's up to you to, to hold to them. And the moment you start, you start waffling on your boundaries, and you say, "Listen, it's it's over," and you call them up or you answer the phone. And this is going to go into another video. I'm going to talk about, you know, how many chances you can get. We'll, we'll talk about that another time. But when when they're but these types of boundaries, the types of boundaries that, I'm, that that I'm talking about. I guess they really all could be the same thing. Really talking about boundaries, just just you know when is who knowing when is enough is enough, and just when they've crossed you for the for the last and final time. You got to just stick to it, man. You got to stick to it. And when you don't, you know, you when you waffle because you're scared, because you're scared of being alone, because you're scared of, or whatever. And you know, and this is this is the the argument of you know feminists, right? Uh, of saying that you know we want our we want the ability to walk away, and I can make money on my own. I don't have to be tied to or enslaved to a man. And whatever, whatever, however they phrase their argument, I can't. You know, I, I'm a father right, of, a, of a young girl, right? She's in her twenties, so I understand it. You know, I don't want her to be to be enslaved like that, but you know, but I want her to set boundaries. And I want you to set boundaries. You know, this this idea of you gonna. Take Pookie and Ray Ray and, and, and try to fix them up. It's confusing. It's it's it is confusing, but it's not confusing. It's it's confusing, but it's not confusing. It's confusing, but it's not confusing. So uh, those are my this, those are my thoughts. I know this is just me finishing up. If you if you have a boundary, if you have a red flag, you have a no go zone, you have a What's the term? A deal breaker. Then you got to stick to it. Man. You got to stick to it. No matter how fine he is, no matter how fine she is, no matter you know how much they sweet talk you, no matter how good the body looks, no matter how good the sex is, no matter how much all this other because because the, the the sex and the physicality will eventually wear off, and you got to really deal with the bills. You really got to deal with the with the with the consequence, the bills, the psychology, the family dynamics. You got to deal with all that. Who's gonna, you know, somebody's really got to pay this rent. Somebody's really got to clean up. Somebody's really got to, we got to be responsible for these kids and for this relationship. And somebody's really got to, you know, make sure that our credit is good. We can, we can advance. So it's, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I feel bad for a lot of people, man, who are dealing with this. So. But you got to set those boundaries. You got to set those boundaries. You got to set those boundaries and stick to them. The boundaries, if you don't remember anything else, the boundaries are their problem. It's their problem. I told you. I told you not to contact your ex. Why are you, why are you still contacting her? Why are you still talking to her? Absent kids together and all that, right? You got to set those boundaries, whatever they are. If you feel, and, and don't feel, don't feel bad about them. Don't back down from them. Don't let people talk you out of them. Something. Now, some of that, you know, you really need to take, you know, some, sometimes you can have a boundary that you need to be talked out of, right? <laughs> right? If you if your ex has kids with this person, he's got to talk to her, right? He's got to talk to her about, you know, so set whatever boundary it is, make sure it's reasonable, rational, and then stick to it, you know, but this calling people's exes and allowing people to drive your car and having access to this, that, and the other to ruin you, to potentially ruin you financially. So those are my thoughts, my opinions. Um, I'm not going to belabor this anymore. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions. 
hit me up in the comment section. Have you set boundaries? Let me ask you this. Have you set boundaries and not stuck to them? And what happened when you didn't stick to that boundary? You set a boundary, you didn't stick to it, and then what happened? What was the consequence of you not sticking to your boundaries? Answer for that for all of us. We can all learn uh, about this. So much love and peace, everyone.